some coming our way. Oh, Although today yeah. was lovely, really. Yeah, hopefully you got to get out and enjoy today. The last so. day of sort of the dry weather. It is, it is. And uh, yeah, once we get it, we're going to I get like the way you said that. It, it is, it is. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is all coming to an end. And unfortunately, it doesn't mean snow for our Cascades, which oh. I just hate that part. But uh, let's talk about where we are for the water year. And I'll show you some of the stats here. And we are really on par for where we should be. So, so far since October 1st, Portland, uh, we're just about half an inch shy of where we should be. So we are really good to go there. A uh, Salem a little bit lower, and then you get to Eugene, and Eugene is hurting a little bit, and Astoria too. But once we get through this weekend, we're going to be able to make up for some of that ground. In fact, uh, Portland could be at a surplus for the water year because we're going to get in on some heavy rain as we head through the next few days. 51 degrees in Astoria right now. The winds are fairly light, but as we go through the overnight hours, that's going to change. We're going to have winds slowly picking up from south to north as this next system moves our way. A time lapse here at Portland, and yeah, it was just a beautiful day. Uh, we had some overcast skies at times, but we did get some peaks of sunshine here and there and it was dry. Uh, we won't be able to say that for the next few days. Upper 40s right now. The winds are already picking up as the system nears us and it's going to be breezy too as we go through your Friday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Tonight as we go through the rest of the next few hours, temperatures staying mainly in the upper 40s and we're going to have the potential for some rain to move in. We're already starting to see it push through into parts of the coast range and into the valley too. This is the system, the core of it, still off to the coast and it's tapping into some really deep moisture. This is Look at the water vapor, and you can see all of this moisture extending back to the west. And so, this is what we're going to have pumping right in our direction into Oregon, southwest Washington, and also northern California. Northern California is going to get nailed with some heavy rain, but we're going to get into this abundant amount of moisture too. And with a series of systems tapping into that, that means the potential for some heavy rain and some high rain totals by the time all is said and done. Uh, we'll have strong winds too, especially along the coast. High wind watches in effect overnight tonight through 4 a.m. tomorrow, and that goes from southern Washington all the way down the Oregon. Oregon coast where winds could gust to 50 miles an hour and sometimes higher. We will see the possibility for even stronger winds than that Friday and Saturday with the next couple of systems. So soaking rings on the way. We have wind on the way. Here's how much we're looking at for the coast anywhere between two and a half inches to perhaps to five inches by Sunday and some of the heavier totals of course relegated to the uh, coast range inland from valleys anywhere from an inch and a half to two and a half inches by Sunday. So at least we're breaking it up over a few days. We're not going to get it all in once, but it's going to be really wet for us. Wettest days will be Friday, Saturday and Monday. So tomorrow won't even be the wettest day that we see, though it will be fairly wet and Sunday Day will be the driest day, so that'll be the day to kind of take a break from it, and then we'll have those high winds that will bring in very breezy conditions for the valley too. So there's the storm system; it's bringing in that rain. It's going to continue to do that through the overnight hours tonight, tomorrow morning. The morning commute, 7 a.m. We'll have rain around at times, and then as we go through the second half of the day, we're going to continue with the wet weather lifting in from the south. That continues overnight Thursday. Friday is when we're going to have these uh, potential potential for bouts of heavy rain to move in. Then we could kind of calm things down for the second half of Friday. The first part of Friday looks really wet, and then Saturday just looks really wet for us. So it's going to be quite a bit of rain moving on in. Rain at times for the coast tomorrow, mid to upper 50s, I-5 in the mid 50s. Central and eastern Oregon, not quite as wet tomorrow, but wetter for you as we go towards Friday. Cascades, snow level is 7,500 feet. We may get a little bit of high elevation snow here and there, but most of it's going to be in the form of rain. And then, of course, Portland. Sunday looks like it's going to be the dry spot for us over the next five days. So oh, get ready for it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Not Kristen. Not around here. Yeah. And